Uh, today I'm going to make a fish trap. So if you want to learn how to, please tag along. First I have, uh, I'm using 10 sticks. You can use 12, 14, 16. Which, uh, it's a little bit better if you are closer to 15 sticks, but uh, I'm doing 10 today. And they are just a little bit longer than one meter. You can choose to make them a little bit longer. It's uh, it's not bad. It's actually much better. But I'll work with what I have. And it should be fresh saplings. Now I can cut off this excessive end. about uh, six inches from the bottom I place this uh, uh, ring on the inside Well, this is how far I come now. It's uh, I've been doing it on and off during the day, so it's uh, but uh, it's about one meter long and ended like this. It took me about uh, effectively one one and a half hour, maybe, and. Now I have to make a funnel, something close looking like this maybe, which I'm gonna put in this side. So the fish can swim in, but not, not out. And you can see there are some gaps. I may put in some smaller tweaks here and there. And I just did a little bit to close the gaps as much as possible. The main body is finished, and now I'm making this funnel, which I'm going to put inside here. So, this is the frame, and now we start to weave on these uh, smaller parts. Before I do that, I have to fit it in. top to make it perfect and how I do that well I put in one last round in here and 
I will tie this to that. These branches are from uh, they're actually some young saplings from uh, a tree called hackberry or bird cherry. And uh, I found them to be most pliable for this kind of work. So that's what I'm using. And it's a lot of them in Norway, all over the country actually, from north to south. I've been working on and off with this fish trap now for many days, um, but not so many hours. Uh, until now, maybe a few hours work. Um, because it's uh, it's um, it's so warm, so I'm not do not like to sit in the sun doing this stuff, and my son doesn't want to watch me do this, so we're going taking a dip in a lake and stuff like that instead. But now it's a thunderstorm on the, on the way, so it's nice to be able to sit outdoors and do this instead. The reason why I chose to do this video now is because uh, when I was uh, back in my home place where I grew up, I remembered <laughs> when I was in that river, I remembered I'd done this once before and I actually got fish in the trap, so I thought maybe I should do it again and try it in this lake. The one I made, uh, I sure it had to be 25 years ago. Uh, I did this weaving with this uh, uh, grass growing in the river, in the uh, in the quiet parts of the river, because uh, there was almost one and a half, two meter long, and very solid type of grass. Okay, now the funnel is finished, um, the trap itself is finished, and I'm going to put it down inside like this, and, and tie it together. So, I need some uh, rocks to anchor it down, to make it sink. One is going to be at... Uh, where the funnel ends, and I think I'll put one in this end. Finally, me and my son was able to, are now able to uh, go and test this uh, fish trap. So, got some uh, <laughs> hot dog bread and some uh, old smelly shrimps, which we're gonna use as a bait. Let's hope someone likes this. This funnel will go this far, so it should hang somewhere in here, I think. that on the other side
Okay. Well, I didn't catch anything in the fridge trap, but uh, that uh, wasn't the most important thing with this video. Um, my purpose with this was to share some uh, knowledge about uh, trap making, and this time, and this time, uh, a fish trap. Um, the knowledge is the most important thing you can carry. You can carry all kind of gears, but it doesn't matter if you know don't know how to use it. It's uh, it's the knowledge uh, that you get through reading books, watching videos, learning from other people. But that knowledge uh, itself is not enough. Uh, you need the hands-on experience. Then you have real knowledge you can carry and use in a survival situation. An example. So I'll I will uh, suggest that you all um, try stuff you haven't done before. Try to make traps. Try to um, yeah, all kinds of things. Try to do it yourself. That's the most important thing because uh, that's uh, that's the whole uh, that's the whole. Uh, Holy grail behind knowledge is to have successfully uh, done this in controlled um, environment, if you want to say, call it like that. Uh, then you're able to do it when you really need to. So, so go out and uh, make some traps, make some shelters, fire. Whatever you need, uh, you need the practice. I need the practice. Everyone needs the practice. And <laughs> I used to. Uh, uh, I'm laughing every time I see these small survival cards, and it has a picture and a, and a short text. It says, "Rub some sticks together with this uh, bow, and and you'll have fire." I would like to see the person with no experience do that. Out of out of hundred people, I don't think it's yeah maybe five that are able to make a glow without any experience before. Well, I don't even if, even know if I'm one of those five, and I've made hundreds of body fires. So I, <laughs> it's uh. The survival cards are just it can it can be helpful as a reminder that you can read them. Oh yeah that's that method. I know that method. So in that case it can be good but uh, it's the hands on experience. That's the best knowledge, that's the best gear you can have with you. So go out and practice. Thank you for watching.